Hey guys, today we're going to be working with converting rectangular equations into polar equations. So we can see here the first thing we should observe is that we're given something in rectangular form and we know that it's in rectangular form because it contains x's and y's. What we want to do is try and figure out some way to replace those x's and y's with r's and thetas. And then to help us do that, we have a few formulas. So we know that x is equal to r cosine theta, y is equal to r sine theta, and that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So let's go through and start this problem. And the first thing I would do for this problem is to try and foil it out because I want to see what happens when I have everything in expanded form. So x squared minus 3 is going to be x minus 3 times x minus 3. When I foil that out, it's going to give me x squared minus 6x plus 9. And then I'm going to be adding that to this one foiled out. So y minus 2 times y minus 2 is going to give me y squared minus 4y plus 4. And that all is equal to 13. So I'm going to start manipulating and kind of moving things around, combining like terms. So x squared, I'm going to put that next to y squared because I can see that up here I have a formula that's x squared plus y squared. So x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y. And then I have 9 and 4. So that's going to make 13. And this is all equal to 13. Then again, since I have x's and y's over here, I'm going to try and move all my numbers to one side just to see if that could help me out, which it does because that cancels and that cancels. So I have x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y equals 0. And then from here, I can start plugging things in. So x squared plus y squared, that's r squared, so that's easy. That becomes r squared minus 6. We know x is r cosine theta, so I'm going to write that as r cosine theta, minus 4y, y is r sine theta, and this is all equal to 0. And then again, I notice that I have r's at all places, so I'm going to factor out an r. So I have r, and then r minus 6 cosine theta, minus 4 sine theta, equals 0. So this equals 0. So I've just factored an r out of everything. And so now I have two equations. I have r equals 0 and then I have r minus 6 cosine theta minus 4 sine theta equals 0. So again we want to get our equations in r equals form when we're doing um, polar coordinates. So I'm going to add 6 cosine theta and 4 sine theta to the other side of this equation. So I get r equals 6 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta. And then I have this other equation here that's r equals 0. Now when I go and I graph these on my graphing calculator, you will see that this r equals 0 is contained, because this is at the origin, it's contained in this equation. So since r equals 0 is on the equation r equals 6 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta, we don't need this because, again, it's contained in this equation. So that's it. We're done. We've learned how to convert a rectangular equation to a polar equation. If you guys have any questions, concerns, you're not understanding where my numbers came from, please make sure you leave that in the comments, and I will do my very best to respond to you as soon as I can. I hope that this is helping you become better at polar coordinates. Make sure to subscribe if you want to get more information on polar coordinates. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you want to get better at math, subscribe to my videos here. If you want more information on math, click on my website link here.